Does learning innovation simply mean using in some way new technologies in our teaching programs? Probably not. What does it mean then? In this course we will suggest the idea that learning innovation means going from a traditional teaching practice, frontal lessons, to one where students are at the center of the teaching and learning processes. Actively stimulating students and designing creative and collaborative dimensions are funding elements of new teaching and learning experiences. When students are about to reach the intended learning outcomes we expect, creating active classroom dynamics means giving our students the opportunity to also achieve competencies considered as key skills for the millennium we are in. These key skills are the famous four C's, collaboration, creativity, communication, critical thinking, but also a new perspective that we can call transdisciplinary mindset, the ability to find connections among disciplines and to recognize and reapply the transferable knowledge. These are key skills that are particularly appropriate in a rapid evolution context, like the one we find ourselves. They allow us to put into play knowledge, abilities and disciplinary matters in solving problems that have never been encountered before, or in finding new solutions that are not the simple replica of solutions already applied in the past. This is particularly relevant at a time when the problems we are facing have truly never been faced. Talking about learning innovation also means talking about a process that starts with the defining objectives. Innovation for the innovation's sake is not the goal. Instead, we should innovate to reach goals linked to the improvement of the intended learning outcomes. Therefore, the real objective should be allowing students to have a deeper and lasting understanding of contents compared to the intended learning outcomes disciplinarily defined. This process also goes in the direction of improving those transversal competencies we just discussed collaboration, creativity, communication and critical thinking. The other path of stimulating goals in the field of learning innovation is the improvement of the learning experience. The fact that attending the class may be more motivating, more fun, more involving, firstly for the teacher and at the same time even for the students can be an important goal for the learning innovation operation. Well then, we were talking about learning innovation as a process that starts from the definition of goals. In order to better reach these goals, we needed to consider three main phases when thinking about doing learning innovation. The designing, the implementation, and the monitoring phase. The monitoring phase is fundamental because we can investigate if the improvement of the intended learning outcomes and of the learning experience as a whole has been reached or not. And thanks to the feedback obtained from the monitoring activities, we have the possibility to adjust, redesign, redevelop the learning experience itself. In conclusion, Transferability is the last piece we need to add to define what we mean with learning innovation. We are therefore talking about learning innovation when we refer to the transformative process of the teaching and learning experience valuable in the wider teaching community. 
Learning innovation features should not be tied up to something extremely specific in terms of teacher characteristics, resource availability, or two specific contexts that may not allow their applicability. So, to sum up, we can say that what has been said up to now has served to start building the setting where we are going to operate in this MOOC. When we talk about learning innovation, we are talking about a process that starts from the definition of goals that can have either the objective of improving and expanding the intended learning outcomes or improving the teaching experience for students and teachers. These goals must lead to a designing phase of the teaching and the learning experience that must constantly be monitored to verify if the objectives are achieved or not and to obtain feedback to adjust the design process. The entire process needs to be replicable if we want to effectively talk about learning innovation. It cannot just be an exceptional context but it must have features such that can be valuable for the whole teaching community. In conclusion, we need to stress the concept of designing because the design of learning innovation is going to be the perspective that we are going to offer to how to this MOOC. In other words, we believe in the idea that the teacher is the main actor of the teaching and learning experience design in relation to new objectives. And this is exactly where we will do our best to put at the disposal of learning innovation the design culture. Mm -hmm.